Now that we've used the setup wizard, let's go ahead and create categories based on our syllabus here. So again, in our sample syllabus, we are using a weighted grade system. So let's replicate these in Brightspace. So we'll click on the waffle near the top and navigate to the course we want to work on. And at the top nav bar, we'll click grades. Wherever it brings you in in this section, to add the categories from here, you'll click manage grades. Also, if you've just finished the setup wizard, you can use the option there to create a category as well. From manage grades, I've already added a few of our categories. So I'll look at my syllabus again here. You can see my syllabus has 100% if you add up all of these category weights. And in my Brightspace, I've only added assignments, the final exam, and presentations. So I'm still missing quizzes and discussions. We can add those in. But before I do so, note that whenever you have something kind of off in your gradebook, there will be a note or a few notes at the top telling you about that. So in this case, it tells me that when I add up all my weights, I'm only at 50%, not 100%. So I have that kind of warning that I need to make an adjustment here. So from this page, let's go ahead and create the two missing categories, quizzes and discussions. So from Manage Grades, I'll click New near the top left and then Category. And I'm going to add in Name. We'll do Quizzes first. And then the short name would be what would apply to the column header in Gradebook. So if you have a really long main name, you could choose something shorter here. I'll leave it for now. There's an optional description as well. And then for this weighted Gradebook, we have a weight option. So for my syllabus, I have quizzes worth 30%. So I'm just going to enter the same value here. And this checkbox for allow category grade to exceed category weight. If you think you might want to give anyone more points than 100%, for example, on a quiz, you would want to check this box so that they could get 31 out of 30 for their total weight in this category. Continuing down is distribution. So if you have four quizzes, how will they make up that 30% that the weight is? So the first option is manually assign weight to the category. So each item in that category, each quiz that you add, you could manually say how much it will be. You would just have to make sure your weights add up to 100 in the category. The second option, distribute weights by points. When you add in a quiz, you could say how many points it would be worth. And so if you have two quizzes that are worth 10 points each, and then three quizzes that are worth five points each, that would show you those 10 point quizzes are going to have a higher weight. Finally, when you distribute evenly, every quiz would be weighted equally regardless of points. The other option you have when you weight evenly is that you can choose to drop the either highest non-BOAS item or the lowest, and you could choose to drop one or more of those categories. So for example, if you wanted to drop the lowest quiz, you could choose to drop the lowest non bitus item in that category through here. Now for distribution, to compare to Blackboard, there was an option to weight columns equally or proportionally. So if you're weighting things equally, distributing the weight across all the items would apply. Or if you distribute weights by points across the items, that would be the proportionately option. For this particular one, I am going to assign the weights by points across. Now at the bottom, there are some display options. If you don't see those, click show display options to open that up. And you will see some options for how the students can view this. So you can choose to allow students to see the class average or grade distribution. And that's your choice how you want to leave those. I'm going to leave them unchecked for now. And finally, at the bottom, if you remember in the wizard, we chose what we wanted students to see and we had selected points and weighted. If you want something different to show for this particular category, you could choose to override the options and select what you want them to see for this category. In this case, I just want them to see the same thing as I set up in the wizard, so I will uncheck that option as well. Now once we've created this, we can go ahead and click save and close if we're all done. But we actually need to create one more category now, so I'm going to click save and new so I can create my final category, discussions. And it brings me right in to create this last category of discussions. Now looking at my syllabus, discussions are worth 20%, so I will give it the weight of 20. 
And let's say that I like to give extra points for really good discussions. I might check the box to allow the category grade to exceed the weight for this. And under distribution, for the discussions, they're all going to be weighted the same. So I'm going to choose distribute weight evenly across items. I'm also going to drop the lowest non-bonus discussion item for each user. So I'll select distribute weight evenly and I'll choose one for the number that I want to drop for each user. I'll leave the other options as is here and I'm finished adding my category so I'll hit save and close. And this will bring me back to manage grades and if you remember the note we saw before that is now gone and all of my categories here add up to a final calculated grade of 100% weight. When I start to add my gradable items, I will see them underneath each of my categories, kind of as an indented item here in Manage Grades with the points and, and weights. If I wanted to edit any of these, I can click on the drop down next to the name and choose Edit to then be able to modify any of these options as needed. I'm going to cancel because I don't want to make those changes. And a quick note about categories. So when you see category here in relationship to the gradebook, it's how your items, your gradable items are organized into the categories for the weighting or just for organization within your gradebook. The word category is used elsewhere in Brightspace. For example, you can categorize assignments, but that's not the same as the application here where it's in gradebooks. So that's how you set up your categories in Brightspace Gradebook.